Hi, I'm Chad Hines of Willow Creek Kennels. This is Charlie. Hey, this last winter we went down to Wild Rose Kennels um, in another Orvis endorsed operation and we studied their British lab training and incorporated some of that training into the versatile dogs, into the short hairs, wire hairs, and, and the versatile breeds. Um, today we're going to talk about a trailing memory. What trailing memory simply is, is I'm going to heel Charlie down to those pine trees and those pine trees would be a fixed reference point. I'm going to toss a bumper into those pine trees and I'm going to heel him back so he's going to have to use his memory to remember where it's at and then I'm going to turn around, line him up, and send him. When you first start this, you want to start with short trailing memories and then extend your distance. We're just going to kind of, we'll do a couple shorter ones and then we'll do a longer one, and that would be the basis of it. If your dog ever makes a mistake, just start shorter again. If you, if you heal him back too far, turn around and send him. He doesn't take the line, basically back cast him, help him get there, and then set up a, the next one you want to set up. You know you failed. As a trainer, we failed, so we set up a shorter one and then we build off of that shorter one until we get back to a, a longer distance. It might not go so easily for you this first time. Charlie's done this quite a few times before he knows what he's doing. I'm simply using him as a demonstration dog. Um, another thing is these, these mode paths make everything a lot easier for the dog. Keeps his line straight, gives him a target. When again we got that fixed reference point right at the end, which is those pine trees. I want him to use his memory, remember where those pine trees are at, and this mode path just makes a nice straight line, nice easy memory, so he can we can build on success. basically did there is did a one-third, two-thirds, and three-thirds. Just extended our distance. Um, nice, nice, easy trail we've got here. Keeps his line straight. Once we get good at this, uh, we'll leave these trails and we'll start sending them across different types of cover. Always make sure he's nice and square, nice and on line. You look at his backbone right down his head. As soon as his eyes lock on target, pull the trigger. Charlie, get a boy. I also mix a lot of treats in here. Every time he gets back to me, he does a good job. If he does a mediocre job, I probably won't treat him. Every time he does a good job, I treat him. I'm gonna make sure he's holding that bumper properly too. It's nice in his middle, in his mouth straight. Okay. If it's, if it's off a little bit, fetch, fetch, hold, good. Okay. I always want their head up, looking at me before I give them that treat. I don't like. I'd, I'd rather the dogs look up at me and present the dummy to me instead of looking away. Good boy.